I'm Guy Eastman, your host, and this is Eastman's Hunting TV. Today we're going to go to southern Colorado and hunt big bugling bulls. We're going to go along with our 2011 hunt winner, Kurt Tobias. <laughs> How's it going, man? I'm doing great. Good God, to see I'm you. I'm just excited as can be. Are you? It's going to be awesome. Ready to hunt some elk? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. God, I've been oh, counting the minutes. Kurt is smiling from ear to ear, and after spending a little time talking with him, I've learned that he's been a subscriber to Eastman's Hunting Journal for over 20 years. Our hunt winners have set the bar very high over the past couple of years. They've taken some really nice trophy bulls. We're hoping to continue this trend with Kurt. It begins with a legendary pioneer in wildlife filming. Wilderness, adventure, and fair chase trophies define him. A son adds to the legacy and becomes the voice for a generation of hunters. Today, a third generation pursues trophy big game in places where success comes from skill, determination, and grit. Now, 60 years of hunting tradition comes down to one defining moment. We're the Eastmans. We've been filming and hunting for over 60 years and three generations, and these are just a few of our adventures. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. It's big game hunting, and it's as real as it gets. We barely made it out of camp the first evening of the hunt before running into this really nice bull. Since we're literally only minutes into our hunt, we decided to pass up on this bull and continue looking for a bigger one. That's a good bull in the box. Freaking slob. He's a slob. I'm telling you right now, this is a shooter. And if you don't shoot him, you're nuts. No, I will. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Should I get set up on here somewhere? We're just going to wait and let them do their stuff. We're going to wait and let them do their stuff. Okay. We've got the upper hand. these shooting sticks. decided to leave in hopes of turning this bull up again in the coming days. It's the first morning of the hunt and we're headed back into the same canyon we spotted the huge bull in the night before. Bunch of bulls. He's on the other side. Rutting activity was off the charts. There were bulls chasing cows all over the canyon, as well as two bulls sparring in the bottom, but still no sign of Kurt's big bull. going in here this morning. Same thing as last night. These bulls are just trying to get it all sorted out and they're just going crazy on each other. It's pretty awesome. I think, I, I don't think Kurt wants to go home. He might uh, just become a Colorado resident. Where's the big guy? Ah, oh, this is awesome. God, bulls pugiling everywhere. I'm gonna kick over here to the side to see if I can spot him. We didn't make it far before we spotted these cows in the bottom and a few bulls running around inside the timber. So we got Kurt set up just in case the big bull showed up. There's a bull. Nice bull, but he's not the one that we came in here for. After heading back to camp to take a break and eat some lunch, we were back at it later on that afternoon. 
bunch of elk bugling up at the top of the drainage. There's another one right there. Uh, just got a funny feeling that's where the big guy is we couldn't find this morning. We'd seen just about every other bull we knew of except for the big one. So we stayed on the move, hoping we could turn the bull up somewhere. Although there was plenty of entertainment going on in the bottom, we still hadn't seen the huge bull we were looking for. We stayed on the move, and just before the sunset on the second evening of the hunt, Kurt's big bull showed up on a distant hillside. We looked for him all day, been dancing around him all day, and we finally found him pretty much right where he was last night. This morning, he was in there, he wasn't talking, and then tonight, miraculously, he's right where he was all along. Tomorrow's a new day, see if we can go get him. catch back up with the crew the following morning as they try to close the distance on this giant. Satellite bull's still bedded right across there, so that's a good sign. Hopefully the big bull's with him. He's always been a couple hundred yards away from that satellite the whole time, so I'm hoping that holds true and he's just in the bottom here. It's not, it's not him. I'm pretty sure that he's up on top of the plateau around the corner. We took Paul's advice and headed up onto the plateau. It wasn't long before we struck up a bugling bull, so we quickly moved in and set up. So tell me what you think he scored since I got him there. I, I go 360. Wow. Yeah. What I noticed was when he was standing there, his eye guards come Look together at the ends. Look how worn his teeth are. Yeah. He's, he's an old bull. He's yeah, not real big bodied. Kurt won this hunt by uh, subscribing to Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. And uh, I don't know if he signed up any buddies or not, but the way that works, you get one uh, chance in the hat for your subscription and another chance for each buddy you sign up. Uh, for the magazine and, and Kurt's been with us for a long time over 20 years with the magazine so he's from Bakersfield California and he won this hunt so remember to make sure you get your subscriptions renewed and, and sign up your buddies for Eastman's hunting or bow hunting journal and you could be here sitting right next to me next year uh, on a trophy elk hunt here in Colorado so remember until next time fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game I'm Guy Eastman we'll see you next week right here on Eastman's hunting TV We hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure you subscribe to the Eastman's YouTube channel. And we'll send you an email every time we post something new.